Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel another 7 Days to Die video. I'm doing all this in Alpha 16.4 on the PC, but this should work on consoles. I don't know for certain if these items are in consoles or not. If they are, be sure to leave a comment so other people playing know that. If not, then I apologize, but I believe they are. And that is, we are looking at loose boards today. Now you might be wondering, what in the hell do you need loose boards for? These can be used as kind of a fall pit sort of thing, like I have set up right here. Now, what happens is, you set this all up, which I just set up up the three by three one because there's three ones you got the one by one that kind of looks weird a three by three block and a one by one now when you walk over the top of these i'll show you what's going to happen here see if i can catch myself from dying it collapses and breaks underneath and you have a nice little fall pit see i put some spikes down there and we are good to go and so obviously it works for players but i'm kind of curious as whether or not it will work for zombies so i just put down a regular plate and then i just painted it the color of asphalt just you know just so they can't see it because it's clearly there's nothing here so we're going to test out, we have our lovely assistant Sylvia over there is going to, you know, see if she will actively try to avoid this or if she'll just stomp over the top of it. Okay, so she walked over the top of it, but on the side it wasn't so keen. Alright, come back over here. Let's see here. Alright, so right across the middle of it. Okay, so she's walking on this, she's out uh, on the outskirts of it. Walk through the middle, here. Walk right through the middle. Right here. Come here. Okay, I know these work on the zombies. I know you're just being difficult, aren't you? There you go. Okay, so apparently if you walk right on the outside edges, though, it's a little bit more on the wonky side. So she's going to bounce around down there on the spikes and stuff. She lost a leg already. She's mad, so she's going to beat him up. She's a terrible nurse. Never brings a first aid kit to be able to help her out. But so we do know they actually do work with zombies, although it's not, you know, it's a little bit wonky on them getting to come up over here. But it very well could be the fact that I had plates set up on the side so it didn't register so we'll go ahead and seal that hole off and we'll act like Sylvia's not even down there. And ta-da, nothing ever happened. Now, the other ones that you can make are a little bit weird. You got this one here that almost looks like a basketball backboard thing like you'd hook to your garage. And it, it's, it works the exact same way. You can rotate it around, I guess, because it gives you kind of a full block size. Let me see if we can rotate it around and get the flat side up top here like that. And so you technically can, you know, cover a hole like this, but of course they don't ever line up with this. You got the whole diamond in a square pattern here. Now, the ones that are kind of weird, the ones that I've worked with a little bit that are kind of weird are these, the plates. And these are these low, these little board plates right here. They look kind of this pinkish, almost just like a regular plate. Um, but the problem is that it won't let you put them on top of a hole. It, it wants to put them down inside the hole here. Now, you can kind of cheat it a little bit. You can kind of do it like this, you know, so it stacks up from the outside edges ever. But the problem is that the moment that you remove the ones from the outside, it collapses down below. So what I'm going to test out here to see is by having them kind of, you know, sunken inside the hole, if the zombies will actually try to avoid that. Because typically zombies will try to avoid falling in holes. So, all right, so let's get our lovely assistant back out here again and see if she will go towards this one. See if she just disappears. Oh, look, because you got moves. Okay, so she did actually break it. And see if she, let's see if she just climbs over the top of this or if she's just going to beat on it. They don't have a lot of durability, so if you can't really use this for, um, you know, building or anything like that. Okay, let's see if you can get you to fall in this one right over here. Let's fall down. Just fall down. Fall down. There. Okay, so technically they will kind of fall down a little bit. Right there. Right there. There you go. All right, there she goes. And she is gone. I only dug these about 20 blocks sheep just for pro proof of concept. But so they will actually walk over them. But of course they're a little bit more on the wonky side of things about getting them to fall down there. So if you're going to do a fall pit, having just a one sized hole here is pretty much a good way to get yourself to fall down there. But not necessarily the zombies. So will this work as a very good zombie trap? Uh, I don't know. It technically functions, but it's just not very good. Now, what's the best practical application? And that's going to be, uh, to me, this is my idea, is if you were setting up at your house or whatever, and you went through and dug out a little dig pit right inside your house, put in, you know, one of these little blocks here, and then and, and paint it the same color as the ground around it. Now, this might actually work better for PvP, because, you know, if you have it painted just right, and you have it camouflaged, and somebody comes running up on your base thinking, oh, I'm going to steal all your stuff, they might just, you know, fall off in there. But, of course, I just ran over the top of it here, so... Uh, I, I don't know how to judge this one here. They technically are functional, but if you're running fast, you can just run over the top of it. So basically, you kind of have to ask your, you know, the enemies that can you walk slowly and then you know fall off into the hole unless you're going to have multiples. 
Of course, the other downside is too that every time they break through these little things that you have to replace it. Now, they're not really hard to make. They just takes wood and nails. But you can see 180 wood and 30 nails just for the 3x3 here. But you don't have to have a forge other than just to make nails unless you find them. You don't have to have a workbench. There's no skills or science involved for it. You can just make these from day one. So that's at least kind of a beneficial thing is that you know you can access them quickly. But they really don't do a whole lot. And I, I don't know, maybe the the slower zombies they'll they'll fall for it a little bit better let's see let's 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 get our lovely assistant back out over here let's say she's gonna come ow she hit me I mean I guess I technically deserve that let's see well that didn't do anything at all back up a little, a little bit of employee abuse here but you know she did hit me first so back up so she was able to walk right over the corner of that and didn't even do anything to it here. So I don't know. Somebody asked me whether or not these little plate things are actually a valid defense. And unless you just made a gigantic hole uh, where they had ample time to run over the middle of it, it doesn't look like, let's see, I'm kind of standing right on the edge of it. And you can see I'm almost to the middle of this thing here. I'm going to, okay, so you have to be almost in the middle of the 3x3 three three for it to collapse. So I don't know. I had a few people ask me about false floors and trap doors and that sort of thing, and from what you have in the game with these loose board traps, I don't think they're all that great, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, we're going to head back down here. And, um, yeah, I mean, other than the fact that they kind of look cool, uh, or maybe if you wanted to have a secret little base, I don't know of another application you could use these with. Maybe that's something you guys can tell me. Anybody who has used these in a successful manner, what is something you did? to uh you know that would actually be beneficial that people to do and leave them in the comments for me to see and of course for other people to see as well but in the meantime if you found the video useful do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button down below um we're gonna wrap the video up here of course if you have any questions for me you can leave them down below as well and be sure to subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos thank you guys so much for all your time you have a wonderful day and i'll talk to you later